What's up everybody, it's your boy Phil Porto. Hope you guys are doing well. On today's quick tip, I wanna talk about why the Fuji X100V never leaves my side and why it probably shouldn't leave yours either. So I wanna be upfront with you guys now so that you know what you're about to watch and you don't waste your time if it doesn't interest you. I am not going to be talking about tech specs or breaking down the differences between previous versions of the camera and why the new version is you know, superior or anything like that. There are so many great reviews that already break down those things about the X100V, so I'm gonna leave a few of them in the description for you to check out. Matter of fact, there's one that I really enjoyed by my friend Derek that did one for B&H, so I'll include that link and a few others so you guys can look at all those things from those videos that have already been created. What I'm gonna talk about is the experience that I've had with this camera so far and why it's a non-negotiable for me. So one thing that I really have noticed throughout this whole coronavirus is that photography has really become a job for me. A lot of times, this happens with creatives. We strive and we strive and we strive to just be able to do what we love as a career. And then when it happens, there kind of becomes a separation between your passion and your business. And it becomes hard to still be passionate about it when you have a huge backlog of editing that needs to be done, or you kind of just don't want to pick up a camera because you've been doing that every single day or you just spent 12 hours on a wedding day and now the last thing you really really want to do is pick up a camera and so one thing i've been encouraging my team to do is to allow yourself to get back to creativity and back to actually having a passion for this and so in talking to a lot of different creatives throughout this coronavirus uh, it's kind of been one of those eye-opening things that now that we can't do it for a paycheck, it kind of has allowed us to think outside the box and get creative again and have fun with it. And so the X100F, the previous version of this camera, has always kind of been like a family camera for me and my wife capturing our moments. And it's such a great camera because it allows you to just do things easily, um, but still get that great Fuji quality that you know and love. And so one major difference with now the X100V in my arsenal is that I've stopped shooting in RAW when I carry it daily because I then think of the post-production that has to be done and I'm like, ah, I don't really want to, you know, take photos. I don't really want to get back to that. I, I kind of just want to enjoy the process. And the X100V being on my side just allows me to kind of like take a second and say, okay, I'm just going to take this photo because I want to take this photo. It's going to be fun to take this photo. It's going to be fun to be able to um, just capture these moments or capture these great things that I see as I go throughout my day. And so the love for this kind of experience with cameras again actually started this past summer. Uh, well, now it's almost, yeah, it's exactly a year since we did this, but my wife and I and our son went overseas and we spent about a month over there with some of our really, really good friends. And I told myself because I was really, really burnt out from the busy uh, photo season, I told myself that I wasn't going to do anything that seemed like work. So I didn't really take many photos at all, not on my phone, not on my Osmo, not on the X100F that we took with us, but I did take one photo of this young man and it was early, early in the morning and he was out there and he was obviously with a mentor of some sorts and she and he were painting and it was like six in the morning and the streets were kind of empty where we were at uh, in Venice and they were just painting what they saw and you could see that it was just a delightful process for them and so that's when the X100F started not becoming a burden to use but actually a blessing to use because I really really enjoyed using it again and so the X100V has now been that replacement for me as the X100F has become my wife's camera 
And so it encourages me and challenges me to not think as a professional when it comes to photography, but to actually go back to where I first fell in love with the art of capturing photos and the art of capturing videos. And not many cameras have been able to do that for me. Matter of fact, the version of the camera I bought actually is a different color than all of my other Fujis so that when I go to grab it, I don't feel like I'm grabbing a piece of work gear. I don't feel like I'm clocking in on the job. And so it's been such a great camera, especially during coronavirus, to be able to capture little moments of me and my family hanging out. Um, it's been great to just capture the everyday, to go out and just say, I'm gonna take a photo of something today, something creative, something fun. And so I encourage you to, to rent this camera, give it a shot. Um, I think it will allow creatives who feel like they've gotten to a place where it's no longer fun to create because it is their job. Um, it will spark something back in you again. So I would say rent it. And if not the X100F, I would still challenge you with whatever camera system you know and love to find a camera that can be that for you. Do not allow yourself to be detached from that passion, to be detached from that love. Uh, I want you guys to feel what I've felt with the X100 series of actually loving this again. So it actually reminds me of one of my favorite Disney movies, my favorite Disney trilogies, The Mighty Ducks. And I think of Emilio Estevez, Mr. Coach Bombay himself. And so you got the guys, you got Banks, you got Charlie, you got Fulton, you got Goldberg, and you see them in the beginning of the series and they're just in love with playing hockey. They're playing street hockey, they're having fun, they're challenging each other, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful display of, you know, their love for their art form. And then they become the ducks, and a lot more pressure starts coming on. And they have all these things that are required of them or expected of them. And you see that love and that passion for hockey start to dwindle. Whether they're the ducks or in number two, when they're the USA ducks, storyline's pretty much the same. They start falling out of love with hockey because of that burden. And it's all about them getting back to that love and back to that passion. So I'm hoping as I fall back in love with solely creating with the X100V that I can encourage you as creatives, as photographers, as videographers to go out there and create solely for the sake of creating in this season. Allow yourself to have fun again. Allow yourself to fall in love with the art form again. And so if you are doing that, I would love to see what you're currently creating. So if you could leave a link in the comments, I would love to check it out. And if you're not doing that, I encourage you to. And to find a resource such as the X100V to help you create that. Something that can be distinguished from your paycheck, distinguished from your everyday career as a photographer and videographer. And if you're not doing this professionally, I ask you guys to please, as you pursue it professionally, to make sure that you're checking your heart so that you don't get into a position that I was in where I no longer loved what I was doing. So hopefully this was encouraging or challenging or a little bit of both. I would love to hear what you guys have to think. So please leave a comment and here's some photos that I've taken with the X100V.